and be able to prioritize the issues that will be up for discussion by the National Dialogue Committee. And we are happy to report to the country that we have been able to adopt the prioritization of the issues that are before us as proposed and agreed on by the Technical Committee and the National Dialogue Committee has agreed to adopt that proposal and we'll be sharing with you a list of those issues as prioritized, beginning with the issue of IEBC, uh, Kenya understanding the urgency of that matter, the issues to do with the uh, outstanding constitutional issues and Article 43 of the Constitution, the issue of the political parties' uh, uh, management in the country, and uh, the other issues as uh, were listed. We have, in view of that, uh, sent out Two letters also, uh, as we have agreed to the IEBC selection panel, as we indicated, to just take judicial notice of the issue that they are handling, that we are also handling on the reconstitution of the IEBC commission. We have concurrently also written to the multi-sectoral working group on the realization of the two-thirds gender rule, because they are also working on an issue that uh, we also that is also before us. And we have expressed our desire as among the stakeholders to be also to be engaging with those two teams. Uh, as we have also noticed uh, in today's uh, print media, the advertisement for, or the announcement for receipt of memoranda from uh, stakeholders and from Kenyans is already out. And we do expect that in the next few days, uh, Kenyans will be submitting their memoranda to the National Dialogue Committee. 
our technical team and our secretariat will be working the whole of next week to allow them time to receive this memorandum from the members of the public. As they also put together the issues as prioritized uh, for discussion by the National Level Committee that will be convening again on the 11th of September. That is next Monday, but one. We have taken that one week break to allow the technical team and the Secretariat to work around the issues of the memoranda and the issues that uh, will be coming from both uh, sides of the political divide and also allow uh, us to attend to the uh, Africa Climate Change Summit that will be ongoing next week. Thank you. Yes, sir. Honorable Kimani Chung has uh, properly highlighted <clears throat> the work are working this morning. Just to tell Kenyans, the time is now. Our work is cut out. We expect that you now take your responsibility and, and, and give out the memorandum. Because without the memoranda, we our work then. We can't understand it. We know the interest the country has in this process. And uh, we are all set to go. Uh, Kimani has just said that um, the number one item as prioritized is IBC. It's yet the correct wording is electoral justice. And if you look at it, uh, IBC is number two. So that we look at all the issues around electoral justice, including IBC, because of the urgency of, of the matter. So uh, beyond that, I think we are all set. And, and um, yeah, we'll see you as often as we can. If there's any question. My name is Tracy Ching from GBS TV Africa. My question yeah, you not confront me after this, thank you. <laughs> yes. She confronted me last night. As it, it wasn't a confrontation, it was a clarification. Okay, okay. Yes, so Let's with, hear you. Yes, with the, now that the public would be engaged and uh, was a proposed framework to, uh, for the public for, on Wednesday, will they have another framework of statements of their own issues and how will you collaborate with your own statements? Who oh, now? The public? The public, yes. Their own? Because you said that bringing a memoranda, right? Yeah, the memoranda has to address the issues that are highlighted. I, I refer you okay. to the advertisement in both the nation today okay. and the standard. And of course, you also are saying that uh, social media is absolutely vital. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we went to involve uh, all the social media platforms so that people, Kenyans, will know that they're required to submit memoranda. But are you saying that you will submit your own type of memoranda outside of what you have put, because, up, put um, forward? If the national, I'm looking at the, if the, the vision of the national dialogue yeah. and asking who exactly it's for. Uh, do we have the framework for the bipartisan talks between Kenya Pons and Azimio? And we also have issues that the public um, are really crying about. So will this be um, entrenched? into the framework that you already have. Tracy, okay. Tracy, maybe just to answer you, <laughs> the, the, the memoranda are in relation, as His Excellency says, mm -hmm. in relation to the issues that are before the National Dialogue mm -hmm. Committee. And many of those issues, you agree with me, pertain <coughs> to uh, matters that of concern to the Kenyan people. Mm -hmm. To other issues outside uh, what is agreed on as the agenda items, uh, Kenyans, of course, have other fora to engage on many other issues, and therefore, including Parliament. Uh, we are receiving petitions and memoranda from Kenyans every day to engage on issues that uh, relate to them. So, uh, the, the Secretariat and the Technical Committee will be working to ensure that they properly code the issues that will be brought before us, but again, is in pursuit of the constitutional provisions that we must uh, have a people participatory process in everything that we do in this country. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a requirement of the constitution. Yes. Uh, your name is Tracy. Tracy Chin, yes. Yeah, Tracy. Yes. Uh, we will not shy away from receiving any memoranda, but only that we will have to interrogate, mm -hmm. and the technical teams will be able to interrogate the memoranda as received. And then we'll be able to see as a committee what we do with those memoranda. You have seen other fora where people are saying there's a constitutional moment. These are Kenyans talking, mm -hmm. all right? And others are saying their things. We, we, mm -hmm. we are a collective as a nation, but our work is very clear and we intend to deliver on what is before us.